Head over to thebestsongever.com and purchase our new hit, Together Again. It is a cover of Smokey Mike and the God King. That's Jeremy Boring and Michael Knowles. And with your help, we will smash our way onto the Billboard charts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have tremendous news. <laughs> You want to you wanna read this one, Luke? Oh, goodness. This one triggered me a little bit. <laughs> this one's from Fox Business. Southwest Airlines celebrated for policy to give a full row to passengers of size for free. I am, I am fat. And uh, <laughs> from now on, anytime I fly, I am morbidly obese. Or identifying as morbidly obese. Always. Uh, this new policy is apparently, like Luke was saying before the show, like you walk up to the counter and you say, I'm fat, so give me free seats, and they will. Yes, ex exactly. Uh, that, uh, there's, there's, do they weigh you beforehand? There's, uh, they can't, I don't think they can. I think that'd be illegal. I mean, I but, always but, like but, getting but, a lot. But, you know, God seats. forbid your bag is five pounds overweight. Right. <laughs> all right. This is the argument I've been making for a very long time because I've been flying, uh, especially all over Europe, all over the world. But in Europe, they nickel and dime you any way they can, especially when it comes to bringing on even just the carry on, which they charge you up the wazoo. And I remember my luggage was like uh, a couple kilos over. And I'm like, look how skinny I am. Look at those guys over there. They're morbidly obese. Why are they not paying more? Oh, Why no. am I paying more for, wait, wait. for my bag? That Here's what we should do. We should get like an inflatable suit. Right. And then you, you walk up to the counter and you go, I need extra seats. <laughs> when they give you the ticket, then you you poke the thing. Goes, <laughs> and then you shrink down and be like, thanks for the extra seats. <laughs> Just see what they would do. Why is it a whole row? Is I, that real, though? They're listen, really yes. going to give the yep, whole yeah. row? The, the, and, and the, there's is, people doing this. There's a video of a woman with a mask. Not surprisingly, probably. A, I, I, we can't say it here. Uh, that, that, you know, got on to the to the thing, videotaped herself doing it and, and literally came up and said, hey, I need an extra seat. Right. And people are like, all right. I mean, go. not to disparage overweight people but it is sometimes like to inconvenient to sit next to somebody that's kind of taking a part of your seat like i've i've had that experience yeah, the before. americans are getting bigger the seats and the, and the airlines are getting smaller uh and and here it, we go it's horrible you guys oh. ready for this one yeah. hi it's okay um i'm hoping to use your um customer size policy today oh. customer <laughs> of size <laughs> yes i'm leaving yes thank you okay thank you so much for your help she got two tickets and a seatbelt extender. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. What? She doesn't even need it. Hi. So, uh, I, I, I'm, I don't believe they could deny you if you ask for this. So, ladies and gentlemen, please get the word out. If any of you are flying Southwest at any point before boarding, ask to use their customer of size policy. That's it. And I don't care, uh, me personally, uh, they're going to be like, sir, you'll sit in the chair just fine. I'll be like, excuse me, I'm overweight. What's the weight limit? You're going to weigh me next? What? So I'll so, take a free seat. I know. So it could be subjective, I guess. Like who's overweight and who isn't? And like, what's your like, you know, body mass index? Ex yeah. Mass and weight are not the same thing. <laughs> right. You can be muscular and weigh 270 pounds and or just you, have like I, a And this, is, and this really is a full tall. flight. This was a full flight. So they had to kick someone Did off Did they have for to this? kick someone off? Probably. They yeah. kick people off uh, out of uh, out of airplanes all the time. Well, uh, you know, I just got to let you guys know, you know, I skateboard a lot. And for this, I have uh, uh, large leg muscles. Which puts my, my my body mass index has always been slightly higher for this reason, and uh, uh, well, that means uh, you know they have to give me a free seat. You're a big dude. Yeah, I get a free seat. Your arms are pretty big too. Look at that. Yeah, you know, very strong. It's impressive. You know, you're gonna I, need I'm, multiple. But, but I'm, I'm kind of mixed. What does on it mean this, to be though? of size? Well, you know, some of they. I wonder if they have a definition posted online or like weight requirements. Like it's a what boxing but weight. A lot of people you, you got know, a lot of junk in the you know trunk. why they. You know why they did this though. It's not just about giving customers of size the option. It's that they know, like when Sydney Watson was sitting sitting between the two big people, and the I'm sorry, the customers of size, she posted on it on social media like this is messed up. Right. So it Southwest is. was like, listen, it's win win. If if a customer is sitting next to them, they're both complaining. Right. So just give them a free seat. Yeah. If there's free is seats that, on the that, plane, I think, but I wouldn't like kick someone off a flight for that. That's crazy. Yeah, but but like, uh, are, do you want to cuddle with some like fat, morbidly obese person you that's know, shedding spike proteins onto you and, and sweating on you and you got to smell their stank for a couple hours? <laughs> no. Shedding, what? No, I don't. Uh, you know what's really funny? When you fly private, like it's it's much more difficult for morbidly obese people to fly private because they have weight restrictions and there's no sorry have a nice day there's no questions this says 
the policy allows larger travelers the opportunity to purchase an additional seat. Is that, are we missing something in the story? Is it actually cost money? No, the, the story is that it's uh, complimentary. Uh, on uh, Southwest. Yeah, on Southwest. But um, yeah, it says free. I yeah. guess that's happy news for a lot of people in America. I'm being serious. I know a lot of people that will take advantage of that. Yeah, I, I mean, do you do you want to uh, cuddle <laughs> uh, with, with, you know with someone with a lot of junk in their trunk for a couple no, it's, hours? No, it's always <laughs> like for me. I, I'd rather sit next to someone who is not, uh, you know. I but just... more Americans are more than ever. Well, Obesity rates are going right. through the roof. Heart rate disease rates are going through the roof. There's there's a serious issue with seed oils and other things that are absolutely uh, atrocious. This is. This is, uh, people are saying yeah, the look, airline's look. bad here, uh, the FDA's bad here, our food industry is bad here, Big Pharma's bad here. Those are the people that we should be focusing on as, of course, they fail us every step of the way, ensuring that we're going to be fat and sick. Look, Fox says Southwest provided its policy to Fox Business, which said that passengers of size have the option of purchasing just one seat and then discussing your seating needs with the customer service agent at the departure gate. If it's determined that a second or third seat is needed, you'll be accommodated with a complimentary additional seat. Second or third. That's why I'm saying, like, get wear a fat suit. Ugh, it's almost like enabling free be- stuff, bad behavior. Like, enabling, oh, absolutely, it's enabling like this obesity, is... diabetes, and everything else. Remember, remember on The Simpsons when Homer realized that if you weigh over 300 pounds, he can work from home. Right. So Dude. he tries to gain as much weight as possible so he can work for home. It was almost like during home. COVID when people were, you know, at risk. It was almost like a good thing that they were at risk. I have diabetes or, you know, I'm morbidly obese because that means I'm at risk and I could stay home and I don't have to come in. Yeah, there there are definitely times when you want to cater to the weakest among you that just for the sake of the tribe, like keep them alive, maybe for a reason. But then there are other times when a society begins to cater to like, like if we if we have to kneecap our entire society in order to accommodate people that have let their bodies become obese, that's right. going to be a very challenging thing to right. subsist. Like, I don't know if we can sustain that kind of pattern because if they keep if it keeps propagating more and more, you know, negative entropy or, right. or whatever you want to call it, negative outcomes, then it's just. This is this is like going to capitalism you know, is supposed to counter we've, this. We've got behavior. we've got uh, some of the Timcast crew flying to Amfest on Southwest. Uh, I think they should absolutely demand to use the uh, customer of size policy. It says here that the uh, it's at the discretion of the Southwest employees, and you may have to advocate for your extra seat, just so you're aware. So absolutely, and I think I think you should, and you should argue that you have restless arm syndrome, and I, I would say this. Oh yes, I have an I have an I have an arm arm tense uh, tensity thing. My arms go out, and you know causes me pain if I can't stretch my arms out. It's I, I'm sorry, it's just it is. And if they say no, be like, so the only criteria is that you're obese. Other there there was a viral photo. Remember this where the guy had a had a belt strapped to his legs, and then some woman was like, oh, yeah. a man spreader in recovery, and other people were like, it's a guy with Tourette syndrome trying not to kick you. Like that's so messed up that you would insult him like that. I did that in an airplane. I, I put my I put but, something around my knees because I fell asleep and I didn't want to knee the girl right. next to me. I mean, me what, what if you, like, hold on. What if you said, um, you know, uh, flight gate lady, I have very large testicles and I need to keep, <laughs> As I my, often do, I yes. need to keep <laughs> my legs spread open the length of three seats. We're all going to be better off. Trust me. Yes. Somebody has to wear a body camera and just pull all these things and see hey, what passes. Technically, men should have bigger seats. Okay, we got a we got a man spread. We, you know, we got to let the, the boys. Love, we got to let the boys breathe for our our uh, masculine. I loved that season of the culture war, the man spreading one, where it was like a whole bunch of guys were like, "The why do why do all these men man spread?" And it's like you're saying a lot about your junk right now. Like there are a lot of guys that are just like, "I keep my legs spread because I kind of have to." And then there's other guys be like, I don't. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I yeah. kind of get what you're saying with that, but all right. Yeah, you got to cool your junk. Uh, <laughs> this is what Southwest is doing with this particular airline fat policy is just a few steps away from a Wally prophecy where people are going to be given scooters to ride around everywhere because they're too fat and can't move around. Well, anywhere. that's what they want. This is, this, sure. is, this is where we are headed to right. as a society with the obesity rates. This is where we are headed, not that far away from where Wally was. And uh, soon, Wally's going to be a documentary. Because I want to ride around on those things. I don't. I just want to be rewarded for not, you know, for taking care of my body. I want to. Like, I was actually a trainer on The Biggest Loser. What was it like? And it, you know, it, so it, get, it gives me a lot of empathy toward overweight people. And I have. A, I come from a family. I'm half Italian, half Chinese. My Italian side, there's a lot of more really obese people on it. So thank God I have my Chinese side to balance it out. But um, it's just I feel like you know how was Biggest Loser? It was it was great working with people, but they have like decades, obviously, and decades of 
history, uh, mental history. And it's very hard to lose weight once you get to a certain age, especially like I'd say 50, like you have decades of trauma of, of, of being an overweight person. But I feel like the country enables it, you know, and not just with uh, with stuff like this, but with all this processed stuff they put in the food, a lot of that stuff is really what causes weight weight gain, all these fake sweeteners, like uh, the corn syrup I, and everything. I think it's actually really easy to lose weight. I, th I think fasting it, is huge. for me it is and i'm, I'm no. lucky to say that i've worked with people who are 500 pounds and well yes you're right that actually is true it is very easy to lose weight it's very easy for them to gain it right back and, th and that's the issue so what we're really talking about is yes i understand there's glandular issues i understand some people have it's mental metabolic it's 100 percent mental but yo if you're just eating lean like if you're eating i wouldn't even say lean meat have yourself some fatty steak and some greens and vegetables we go out to eat I get a Caesar salad with no croutons, and I get a filet mignon with extra butter slopped on top, right. butter all over that steak. Yeah, I, I keep telling Tim, don't do the greens. The greens are a scam. Oysters, meat, some fruit, but that's just my diet. That's out, what I like. Well, you guys are very lucky because that, that, that's, a, you know, for most people, like a frankfurter is protein. You know what I mean? Like that's like in the, in the country, especially with the economy. No, I agree. Is, like, I agree. That's what they think protein is. Well, or like, people, people what, what, uh, Norman Borlaug, I think, is going to, will we'll go down in history. Okay, well, he probably won't. Uh, but I think he should go down in history as a, as a, as a uh, well-to-do but bad person. Norman Borlaug famously increased the crop yield of, I think it was probably wheat. You can fact check me on this one. And it, it, what, what he did was, he's like, now we can produce more wheat and feed more people. The only problem, nutrition density doesn't change. So the starch content increases, the nutrition content decreases. What happens now is poor people need to eat something like four or five times the amount of food to get the same nutrient right. level. So if you're not getting enough selenium or zinc or whatever in your system, you're just slamming boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese because your body's desperate to find it. You're getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.